All right, today is basically just a rehash of talking about our, uh, we have a video called Cooler Belt Temperatures. Why do players' razors blow belts? Um, it was about adding a second blue washer to the primary clutch. Um, none of that's changed. None of that has changed. The only thing that's changed is this newest video is just an introduction to our white washer, not to be confused with Polaris's white washer that you could buy. I forget the models, but it's not as thick as this. So what we did is we had washers made that are equal to two of the blue washers, the thickness of them. Why is that? Two reasons. Uh, Polaris, uh, trying to buy them from them in bulk is very hard to do. And number one, what we found out is, is that little 40 thousandths thin washer is not very durable and it changes its shape over time or misforms or whatever you want to call it. So we made one out of some tougher plastic twice as thick. And so basically what we're doing is you're going to take your one blue washer out and put hours in, which would be equivalent to adding one. At the end of this video, what I'm gonna do is put a link, it's through a little square right here to our old video in case I missed something today. But between the two, you'll get what this is about. And really the only difference is we're just not adding a blue, we're taking yours out, putting hours in. So the very first part of this video is about how to put it in, and then we'll do a little explanation on the back side. Now I've got an XP1000 here, and I've taken the liberty of getting the tire off, the clutch out, I mean the shock out of the way where we can get easy access. Um, on my Ranger, I was able to pull the cover off without taking a center bolt out. On this Razor, I wasn't because the washer was hitting the bushing. So the thing to do is take your center bolt out, mark your cover, so you can put your cover back in the same place. Actually, it has an X on it right here, and then an X on a spider in case you forget to mark it, but it's gotta go back. All right, so we'll talk about putting it on and then why on the tail end of this. We have a tech article on our website. Now it's gonna talk blue. I'll over replace those words with white, uh, but that's what this is all about. It's just everything, nothing's changed. Just have our own washer that's twice as thick. So let's, let's get on with it. All right, take a 21 millimeter socket. Take your bolt out. Take a 3 8 inch socket. Take the screws out. This thing's spring loaded, so on this last one, put your hand on it. There you go. And now it's it's off. Take our spring off. Here's the blue washer, the stock Polaris one. Just an FYI, Polaris sometimes leaves them out. Sometimes they put two. There's no rhyme or reason, and I don't know if the camera could possibly pick up, but this is mine, and it's deformed. So now you just slide the Hunter Works white washer on. Just an FYI. It can't buy those. We had to have them made. There's nothing that dimension, and I paid five thousand dollars for some washers. So please buy some. Put your spring back on. Put your cover back on. And with it in this position, you usually can get these screws started by hand. All right, I think I grabbed. Get this one going. Press in a little bit. Get it started with your fingers. All right. Let's get them all started. That one just don't want to start for some reason. We'll start that one then. All right. Okay, now everybody's against using impacts. I've been doing it 16 years. I think the torque spec's like seven. 
I've used this, got a little finger control, and I've never broke one. So people who torque them, a lot of time break them, but I guess people who don't have finger control break them. So I'm just showing you what I do. Press in, all right, cr cross it. So it gets good and started, you can feel it. All right, we're just gonna go a little bit at a time. On these three screws. All right, now. I'm gonna double check mine. Okay. Put my bolt back in. And tighten it up. This is supposed to be torqued to 96 foot pounds. Same answer as before. People get in trouble trying to torque it. Uh, very few people this way. It's so my method. You do what you feel is right. Okay. That's it. So if you're going to do this, that's the whole job. So now we'll just talk about it. All right. The why we did it. Again, if you, we got a tech article on it, our old video covers it, and we're gonna rehash it because we never know what we may do with that old video. So here's the deal. There is a potential over-travel problem with most of these razors. I, I would, I'm not gonna limit it to the 1000 non-turbo, but as a general rule, the generals, anything that's 1000 has these clutches has the potential for an over-travel belt problem. So. What Polaris does is try to get the most belt travel as possible, which is smart. So you get, you know, the at low, you want it up high, so you can have low performance. And at top speed, you want it to travel as high as you can here, low as you can here for maximum speed. Okay, well that's great. But the problem that you run into is, is that it can have too much travel. You can have a primary clutch out of spec, a secondary clutch out of spec, you can have a belt that's a little too short. You can have a shaft spacing issue that's a little off. So all these things, you could have one or the other or the unlucky human that has them all. All right, so when I tested my own unit, it had too much travel with, and it wasn't a belt problem. It's just FYI, this ain't a belt issue, except for there's one particular belt, and I don't like to call names, that's too short, and it, it'll over travel no matter what and blow if you run at high speeds. But the OE belt and our belt had an over-travel issue and I was getting some extreme belt temperatures and people were blowing them. So what happens is, and I'll screw in real close, is maybe you can see this has a radius right here. And so it, this belt starts here and as you speed up, it comes down, 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 down. And if it, if it over-travels in the primary, it can go too low. And so some of them, or most of them, are getting in this radius right here, all right? And that's pinching the bottom of the belt and creating or adding heat. The worst case scenario is going all the way down and hitting this and your inside teeth get pulled out. So what we found is, is that most all Polaris XP900s have this issue. But the people who have the problem are normally only going to be people who run excessive high speeds for excessive periods of time. All right, that could be 80 miles an hour for over half a mile or mile because the temperatures just skyrocket. So what we wanted to do is limit that travel, and we do that by limiting it here, which limits this, which in turn stops it here. Now, I don't have one that's marked, but the thing about it is, is this speed limiting spacer, as it's called, when it's correct, stops that belt, right? You can't hardly see it in here, but there's a smooth portion and it should stop about right where my finger is. Let's get it right there so you can see in the skin on me, the little gap should stop about right there. That's where the flat portion is, but they were going too far. And all we doing is backing it up to where it runs to maximum safe level. Now, does every person need to do this? Maybe, maybe not. It's, but if you run it in low and you run a lot of RPM, 
same thing can happen. So if you stay in low at high RPM for a long time, that belt comes down. If you're in high and you run 70 plus for any length of time, same thing. So just to be safe, we highly suggest you do the washer. It's absolutely not required, highly suggested. And this uh, not having it in there explains so many blown belts from high speed use. Uh, quick story, had a desert team that was trying to help and they were constantly blowing belts. And I found out about this, not our belts, it's before they, bet they run ours now, but anyway, they, they never finished a race. And I said, well, I had one of them $5 blue washers from Polaris, and he did, and the next race he was on the podium. He was overjoyed from a $5 washer. So, like I said, is this video is just basically a rehash of our tech article on our site, our other video that's talking about this, maybe a little more detail than I am today, and I apologize for that. Um, but you surely ought to get the gist of it. And like I said, right here be another little link to it right here at the end. I asked you to subscribe to our videos uh, below so you, anytime we do any new ones, you'll, you'll get notified. There's going to be a link, a little eye up here you can click to get to our website to purchase this white washer or any other uh, Hunter Works items. Um, or there's going to be a link down in the description down here to get to us. And lastly, we sell belts. We don't want you blowing them, whether you're buying them or warranting them. We don't want you on the side of the road. We make what we think is the best belt on the planet. Uh, so this is just one of the many videos and tech tips we have to help you stay riding and not on the side of the road. If we can do anything for you, let us know. Um, as I'm putting on all our newer videos, getting me on the phone is nearly impossible these days. Our call volume is just literally insane. So shoot me emails um, and I just, any way that I can help, I'd be glad to. Thanks.